Okay. A long time ago, the decade started, and when that happened, I decided to get a YouTube channel for the express purpose of uploading videos of myself playing New Super Mario Bros. Wii on the Wii, and mostly videos where I failed at playing it. I just like have a bunch of these videos like on my channel. That's how it started, and over time, the quality got better, and eventually, we beat the game. But after you do that, you unlock another world, and we shot all the footage, but I got bored with video editing, so I deleted all the footage, and now I want closure, so I got a new game capture device so I can record my screen Eric, with Evan, Ethan, and Mari. And we're gonna beat this game before the decade ends. So this is Emil, Evan, Ethan, and Emery finish New Super Mario Bros. Wii before the 2010s end. Here we go. Day one, we started with World 9-1, which is pretty simple. And we're only doing this because I have to Keep in mind, I haven't played any of these levels in many years. I was really rusty at first. I really needed the teamwork. It really made the dream work. Anytime I tried to do something cool, I would just like fall through the stage. Like it was embarrassing. I had like a pretty good intuition for where the star coins would be though, which was great. No! Get wet, kid. But then it was pretty easy to clear the level after that. No! And then World 9-2 is when we started to run into problems. We're dealing with the Porky Puffer, the big fish, which people had feelings about. Okay, those platforms will go down. <laughs> this is where we really started sacrificing ourselves to get these coins. No! That was the other! That was the other! Getting eaten by random big fish. The other bird! Ha ha! Every just got eaten! Ha ha! And then we died. A lot. No! Damn it! How dare you! And the tensions got up. So we went in again, got the points again. Big Chungus. And then we died. Again. And we tried to get the third coin, but no scar. And died. But then we cleared the level. And then I came back and finished the level on my own. Because I'm going for 100% here, and I very narrowly avoided death. Then we did 9-3, which was a pretty simple level, just like a lot of missile builds everywhere. And these are the moments that I sort of live for. are going the wrong way. Teamwork really making the dream work. A heat seeking bonsai build? That's amazing. Like, so much of these games is like me jumping on a teammate's head, trying to like get a coin. No! Then we slept on it. Hey guys, welcome to part two. Day two. World 9 4 is a side scroller, which is the worst, and everything is awful. And the first coin's pretty easy. And then the second coin, you're supposed to throw a bob bomb, but it's easier to kind of sacrifice yourself. And then you just gotta freeze the piranha plant, which is easier said than done, and then you get the third coin. And that's all World 9-4 is. There wasn't a lot of blood, sweat, and tears that went into that one. It's a good start. And then 9-5. Emery is right. Good thing it's not a side scroller, but it's definitely better if you have the penguin suit on your side. Or a buddy to bounce off of. But World 3, we died again and again 
and again, and the time that I got the third coin, and then Emery bubbled, and we lost all the progress, that one really hurt. So then we finished the level. And after some legendary teamwork, we're able to recover the coin again, and beat the level again. And then it was smooth sailing pretty much after this. 9-6 took us a couple tries, but the coins happened, and I conquered my fear of the fire chop. I just jumped on him, did some more sacrifice, brought Emery back, jumped on him again, and then really just the power of two player. It just made it easy. And then 9-7 was a breeze, although I prepared for it, and the Starman run didn't go as well as I was hoping it would go. But after it wore off, we started to get into like the real nitty gritty of what this level is. A death trap, where you're dying always. But then we got smart about it. And after some other nonsense, managed to get the third coin. And finish the level. In one run. And then 9-8. Which is, you know, as simple of a send-off as you're gonna get from a disaster of a level in a world like this. And there's a bunch of big chungus bills. And mini mushrooms for some reason. But as long as you get on those big brown blocks, you're gonna be good. But this is what we looked like when we beat the game. <laughs> Using new Super Mario Bros. Wii as a vehicle to reflect on the last 10 years is definitely unorthodox. I'll give you that. But this game has meant a tremendous amount to me. When I made those videos all those years ago, that taught me video editing skills, and that turned into a vlog, and we saw where that turned up. And I'm really glad that I can go back to those videos whenever I want to and see what I was like at a different point in my life. I'm super anti-deleting things that I put on the internet, even if sort of my position or how I feel about them changes, because it's nice to not see through rose-colored glasses all the time, and to be like, okay, this is how I was as a 12, 14 year old, 14, I was 14, as a 14 year old, and it wasn't great all the time, but you know, we grow, we change, we evolve, and that's beautiful. And that's wonderful. Do the things you want to do and love the people you want to love. I want to give a shout out to everybody who helped me with this journey, playing this game over the last 10 years. Shout out to my parents for buying the game for me. To Tevin for like holding the camera while we were recorded by TV, to joining me in the videos, to Evan, Ethan, and Emery for helping me this last time through because I couldn't have done it without you guys. And you know, follow your dreams because if you try hard enough, you too can play a decade-old video game before the decade ends uh, because you need the closure. Uh, yeah. Uh, and for the last time of this decade and ever, I guess, because I don't play video games, Random ADB signing off. Wow.